Saturday night is the Essendon Bombers versus the Melbourne Demons. Interesting. And if you listen to the uh, the AFL media landscape... The two best teams in the competition are head to head. Dons! Dons are back! Dons are back! The competition is sleeping giant. You know, like you hear the media talk about it and you look at sports bet and you've got Essendon paying $4 <laughs> yeah, exactly. and then Melbourne paying $1.25. And I look at that and like I don't want to... I'm not buying into Essendon. I think they're playing good footy, but yeah. they're obviously not as good as the media say. The money but tells not, the story. I look at I look at the four dollar odds, and I think that's actually like if they weren't playing Melbourne, that'd be Des Dog of the Week with that four dollar odds. That's like Des Dog value bet of the Do week. Do you have a dog? Not this week. No, he doesn't not have a dog. Week. No, it's, dog it's, this it's, week. it's a tough week. Though. I'm not going to chuck. I'm not going to chuck this face out if I don't think they're going to win, and I don't think Essendon. Are, I don't think they're going to win. Melbourne are going to be. They're going to be upset about that loss. I think they're going to be up. Like you saw last time they lost to Adelaide, they come back firing and. Mm. Uh, Essendon are not as uh, good as the media are pumping them up, and that's going to get in their head, I reckon. Mm. I, reckon See, it gets I, in head. I think all three of us have been of the same opinion. The Dons have definitely He's better than shown a lot better. this year. And, oh, and boy. We, we were right off at the start of the year, and I actually do enjoy watching them play footy. They play a nice attacking brand. Like, Jake Stringer on the weekend had the game of his life. I I'm, can't hold it against oh, a bloke. Where's that been? But this, like, the dick riding that the media does to teams when they get a few wins on the board is unbelievable. And it's always Victorian teams. Earlier on this year, it was all Carlton. Yeah. Could not stop slobbing on them. Now, they all want every Carlton player to die. David Teague's house should be burned down. <laughs> Get rid of the footy club. Yeah. Blow it up. Don't even Move start again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. it's, it's like this. Just let them, just let them play. play. So let, what, let, let them play. So are you saying that a, a media organisation yep. is just shamelessly jumping on any given trend at any given time? I am saying that. Not something we would ever do. No. Nah. No. Not something we would ever do. No, nah, too strong in the in the moral compass. Too man. strong in the moral uh, compass. Look, yeah, going D's 1-39. I don't think it'll be a flogging, but getting Viney back is pretty big for the midfield group as well. Talisman. Uh, and he's sort of like this, yeah, spiritual spiritual leader as well. So, yep, D's 1-39 for me. Everyone's saying that the uh, the Dons played well against the Hawks, and they weren't too bad, but let me just sober that out a little bit for you, that the Dons actually had two less scoring shots than the Hawks on the day and still managed to win by 13. So I, I put it to you. Essendon were okay, but Stringer did the heavy lifting. And if he wasn't there playing for him and had the game of his life, I don't know if they would have got over. Well, the they line. went dead in the middle of the game. They, they did, did go like dead. Nothing. Exactly. And they do that. You do that against Melbourne, and yeah. you're gonna the, the game you're is dead. You're in big poop well, doo well, well, I mean, look, what happened to what, what happened to Darker Parish? What happened to Zach Merritt? They just cop the tag. Cop the tag. I've got a lovely little high heel. I love a little high heel because this week, let me tell you. The Melbourne Demons are my shoe-in of the week. It's absolutely happening. I'm not hearing any of this chat about Essendon going to get rock up and 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 uh, and rock the Casbah against the uh, the Ds. I'm not having none of that. So you mean to tell me you're going out on a pretty big limb and picking a dollar twenty-five favourite as your shoe-in? Shoe-in. Shoe-in. You are as shameless as Fox Footy, my friend. The shoe is in. The, the shoe couldn't be further inserted upwards. Disgraceful. The, mate, the Ds have got such a bad run home. They need this. They need this game, let me tell you that much. All right, let's roll it on to... The bets. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thanks for pulling me back in there. I've got Nick Hines, 20-plus touches. I've yep. got Big Dyson Heppel, 25-plus <laughs> touches. I've got... Uh, Ed, you can put that on. I think it's your size. Uh, I've got Ed Langdon uh, for 20-plus touches. I've got Big Track Attack. Uh, the n- neighbouring India. It's Christian Trakistan, 25 touches. And then Harrison Jones, anytime goal. Fresh nice. off of his uh, Rising Star nomination. He had four goals on the weekend, something nice. like that. Nice. Yeah. Put that together, yeah. it's paying about $5.50, $5.60. Something Not bad. Like. I-, I just had uh, Jordan Ridley for 20 plus. He seems to have taken some of that work back off Mason Redmond again. So 20 plus for Riddler.